Hello, friends. So today I am very excited to share with you something really fun in the AI space for photographers. Now, you may know that I work in the AI space in the photo industry. I work for a company called Imagine who does AI calling and AI editing and also cloud backups for photographers. And there's a lot of cool stuff coming. But I have a friend that created a software called Insight. And what Insight does is it, long story short, it, while you're shooting in camera, you can send your photo off through either an SMS message, like Apple messages, or WhatsApp, and it'll send it off to Insight. And what Insight will do is it will look at it and send back a grid of four photos that are for you to be inspired to try new poses or reposition your subject or whatnot. It is currently designed for people only. And I know that Sam, who makes the software, is working on the ability to do it with one person or with no people. Because right now, if you send a photo with no people, it actually sends back a photo with people. And it is currently also designed for two people. With that said, Sam has gotten it working perfectly with Canon cameras and Nikon cameras that have Wi-Fi to FTP capabilities in it, which means you can actually use your phone as a hotspot, send right from your camera using the Wi-Fi of your phone or the, you know, the, the cell data from your phone via Wi-Fi, go directly to an FTP server, which then Insight will take and do its thing for you. And so this has been working fantastic for the certain Canon and Nikon models that offer this capability. I know Sony also offers this capability on a lot of their cameras, but I also know that Fuji does. And I happen to have a Fuji camera with this capability. My Nikon bodies, my Nikon cameras, I have a Z6, which I'm currently recording on, and I have a Nikon Z7 II. Both of those do not have this capability to do from Wi-Fi to FTP. They have to go to a phone to the Nikon app. Now, Nikon could easily update their firmware to support this feature, they're just currently not doing it. This is Insight Photo. It is insight.photo. And I'm not gonna walk through how to go through the entire process of setting up FTP. I will give you a brief overview on the Fuji camera of how to navigate the menu to figure out where to do it. But I'm not gonna show you every little nook and cranny. Sam actually does that himself on the website. There's actually, actually a camera setup page where you can see you know, what this is, how to set up in Canon, how to set up in Nikon, how to set up in Sony, and so on. But I'm gonna give you a quick overview so that you can see it and feel free to navigate insight.photo and check it out for yourself. Insight goes beyond just what I explained with the inspiration. You can see here a photo taken from in camera, and then you can see this grid, the output, obviously it's different people, it's AI that created the people, and then the photo that he used from the inspiration to create the final output. So all this happened within a minute. That's how fast this goes. Now what's cool is there are additional features that you could do to get a critique, for example, of your photo. So you can see here real-time creative feedback. You can reply back with the word insight and it will actually critique your original photo. And I've seen Sam do this in person. He's actually used me as a subject and uh, it was incredible the kind of feedback that it provided all based on Sam's hours and hours of critiques and education. It's, it's pretty incredible. So check out insight.photo. In the meantime, I am going to show you how to set this up with the Fuji camera and show you what it does. I am now recording with my iPhone. This video right here is my iPhone recording the back screen of the Fuji camera. Now you can see I'm currently set to insight, right? I'm currently set to my preset for insight in the Fuji camera. And if I go down to optional FTP settings, you can see that I am selecting auto image transfer is on. And when I select the type, it is JPEG. Now what this means is any JPEG that I have in the camera will automatically send from the Wi-Fi in the Fuji camera directly to FTP to insight. Now the way that I do this is I actually have the camera set to raw mode. So I am shooting in raw. Am I currently on? Yes, I am. Okay, I am shooting in raw. So if I was to go to preview a photo, here's a photo of my daughter and it is shot in raw. You can see that raw is right there. Maybe it's hard to see in this, on the screen, but that is a raw. 
here's another raw here's another raw and so on and so on so these are all raw files now the way that i have set this up is that if i hit the q button on the fuji camera it is now raw conversion if i go to file type it's set to jpeg image size is going to be small because i don't need to be you know i don't need to be huge insight does not need it to be huge it is on normal quality and then i just go and i process okay so we're going to hit q again to create now it is and when i hit okay it is now created the jpeg file which is going to be sent to insight so i'm going to pull up here is my insight apple messages window so it is currently processing it is sending it up to insight okay so you can see that i got back this text message that says your insight is rendering original file and if i was to open this inside of the browser what you will see is the original photo the jpeg that was sent off to insight now we just wait for insight to bring me and show me the the rendered version the 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 inspiration the insight version now this usually takes about a minute and what sam says is that if you send multiple photos it still takes about a minute you can see the result just came in there and i'll show you that larger in a second now if you send a bunch of photos it will take more time of course it has to render a little bit of everything but here we go let me pull back up here is the original photo and i am going to bring up what it rendered And you can see here that it did utilize the door. And I actually really like these two versions at the top, the top left and the top right. I'm not a big fan of the ones on the bottom, especially the one on the bottom right with a really strange arm here. But you can see that it does give you inspiration of, here's what you could do with the hands in this position. You can move the door in or out and, and, and try some new things with some different lighting. You can see the lighting is so much nicer on her face. I didn't use any lighting on my daughter's face here. So there's a lot that can be done as far as that goes in order to, uh, to improve on the photo, right? So that is what has happened here. Basically, it sent off the photo, Insight received it, showed you your preview of your original photo, and then, and this is for your reference, so that the next photo you receive is, here's the original, here's the Insight. Now I can actually reply and I can say, Insight. And what it's going to do is it's going to critique the original photo and tell me what I could do better. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is the review of this, of the original photo, the original one that I had, which was this one, right? So what you're seeing is the original critique of this photo. Let's read this while we have the photo up on screen, okay? Now keep in mind, you can see there are two text messages. This is because Apple Messages has some limitation and until they fully support RCS, it has to be truncated into two different text messages. So if you're using WhatsApp for the transfer, then Sam says that it all goes into one message. So I might switch to WhatsApp for the time being. I'm not a big fan of WhatsApp, which is why I'm using Apple messages, but I might just so that I get the simplicity. He, saw it, he said it's actually a little bit faster as well for things to come back through there. So with that said, Composition. The composition captures a warm moment with the subject positioned in the upper third of the frame, which is pleasant. However, the angle could be shifted to prevent the partial view of the purple object, which is, where's the purple object? Oh, probably that handbag right, right there. Possibly a couch or pillow at the bottom, at the bottom, which is distracting. at the bottom, which is distracting. I'm not sure what the what's on the bottom. Okay, well, it didn't catch that correctly, but that's okay. For a cleaner composition, consider aligning the subject's eyes with one of the top thirds of the frame and to adhere to the rule of thirds. True. Pose. The relaxed pose of the subject seems natural and candid, which it 100% was. Her expression is engaging, which makes the photo inviting. To enhance intimacy, ensure the subject's entire face is visible and not shadowed. I mean, it's artistic if you... <laughs> don't see the full face, but I totally, totally understand the light. The lighting on the subject's face is soft and even. I mean, regular room light, which is flattering. However, the top of the head is slightly in shadow. No, not so much. 
Use a reflector or subtle. Oh, top of the, the face. Yes. And Leia, light, slight shadow here. Use a reflector or a subtle fill to brighten the top of the subject's head and avoid shadows that can detract from facial features. Creative approach. For a more creative shot, consider having the subject interact with the cat. I wonder if it thinks that's a cat. I don't see a cat. I mean, she does have pet cats, but I don't see a cat. Potentially gazing toward the pet with a shared activity to exhibit their bond. You could also use a shallow depth of field, it already is, to further blur the background and focus of that interaction. This was f2.8, by the way. Lens and settings. Since this is portrait, a prime lens around 50 would be ideal for a more natural perspective. As an aperture of f2.8, would like to give you a, a nice, nicely blurred background while keeping the sharp, the subject in sharp focus. Use a faster shutter speed to prevent any motion blur. So, as you can see right now, Insight is not actually looking at the metadata of the photo. So otherwise, it would know, it would know perfectly that this was whatever focal length it was. And it was at f2.8. It also had ISO of 800. So I am using a zoom lens, so I don't know exactly what my focal length was. However, definitely it was at 2.8, 100%. So and you can see that right there. It's at f2.8. But you can see the idea here. So this is brand new. Sam is going to be adding a lot to this. And it works perfectly, again, like I said, with the Canon cameras that support direct Wi-Fi to FTP, with the Nikon cameras that support direct Wi-Fi to FTP, Sony cameras, and also some of the Fuji cameras that support direct Wi-Fi to FTP. So definitely recommend that if you are looking for something fun and different AI based thing to inspire yourself, to try new things, to think outside the box, to get real time critiques, practically real time critiques on your work. Insight Photo is definitely worth checking out. Insight.photo. It's not a .com. It's not a .org, not .net. None of those. It's insight.photo. Definitely check it out for my friend Sam Hurd. I think you'll really enjoy it. Just click the link in the description and you'll get right off to the races. You can sign up and give it a try. And there he also tells you what cameras it's compatible with. He will be working on his own Fuji tutorial. In the meantime, this was not a specific about a camera just to show you what Insight could do. And there's a lot more to come and I'm very excited about it.